professional at Woburn Golf Club. I have the pleasure of playing about 35 Captain Pro Challenge matches throughout the year, mainly in the summer months. And uh, it's a hard fought thing. Uh, couples in the golf club challenge myself and the captain and the people that beat us by the biggest margin win the trophy. And we have a big black tie dinner at the end for everyone to attend. And you keep your score against as a secret, so no one knows until the evening of the presentation if they've won the prize or not. So it's a great part of uh, my working life playing captain and pro at Woburn Golf Club. Now, I'm on the 17th tee here at St Andrews. And one of the things that helps me on the golf course and my captain is that our opponents don't use their shots wisely. In other words, they come to stroke index one, the toughest par four on the course, and they try and hit the green two and make two putts. And invariably that leads to a disaster. If they were to wise enough to play it as a five, a five net four on stroke index one generally will win the hole about 65% of the time. Now, the same is true here of the 17th. I'm going to just let this fly by and see the whole hole from tee to green. On the right, we have the old course hotel, and lower down the black wall and the eaves are the silhouette of the old railway sheds. The railway sheds were taken down many years ago, but the historians made sure that the profile of the buildings reflected the old-fashioned railway sheds. So as we go down the hole, the, sort of the, fly, the fly past, okay, we go over the, what was the railway sheds, there's a dog leg to the right, and as we know, the famous green is set against the road at an, at an angle. So it's a very tough hole to make four on. Now, Bobby Jones, a great American golfer who won the Grand Slam in 1930, he won the British Open, the US Open, the British Amateur and the US Amateur all in the same year. When he first played St Andrews as a young man, he walked off and with great frustration. And he came to love the old course and the old town itself, and the inhabitants of the old town came to love Bobby. He understood that the power of this hole is four and a half. He would play it from the tee, just get it into play. He would play out to the right-hand side of the green, as near the road as he could, and leave himself a chip and putt. So he reckoned that if he played it a three-shotter, on two of those four occasions, he chipped and putt for a par. So as long as he played the hole four times in two over, he felt he was level with the field. Now with a Bobby short game, he may get up and down four out of four and play in par. So let's see if I can take a leaf out of Bobby's book. I'm going to hit my shot over the uh, edge of the railway shed and land the ball. I've got the whole of Scotland on my left. What I mustn't do is lose the ball to the right. I'm at the left hand side of the fairway, I'm in good shape and even though I've hit the fairway you can see I, I could quite close to the hotel with the initial flight of the ball, there's a little bit of a risk. If I'd gone more left I'd have been in the rough grass, harder to control the shot. So I've landed on the fairway at 17, the left hand side. You saw my tee shot was closer to the hotel than was comfortable and therefore to get the ball right side of this fairway is very difficult. Now, because I have got the ball on the left-hand side of the fairway, the green's across me, I've got the road to hold bunker to swallow up my golf ball. If I go big, I go onto the road, and very, very hard to make four from the road. So I'm going to go, as Bobby Jones did, I'm going to aim out well to the right and try and leave myself a shot up the green. So you can see now, I've got just short of pin high, I've got nothing in my way, and all I need to do now is play a little pitch up on green. I've got a 42 yard shot, so no great difficulty there. The flag's towards the back of the green, so I'm not going to play an open stance shot, I'm going to play a square stance and uh, get the ball to release. Uh, 42 yards.
kind of just swept the ball away a little bit, but probably 15 feet away. Yeah, I'm 15 foot from the hole, so two putts for a bogey. Now, if you're a, a golfer with a golf handicap and you had a shot playing me, then you've got a chance at a four net three. But if you've made a five net four, you certainly thrown down the gauntlet for me. But there's the secret. If you've got a shot in the hole in match play, use it. Use it wisely. Most golfers fail because they try to play every golf hole like a tournament pro and hit the green regulation. Just imagine if you were an 18 handicapper and you went out and you just got the ball into play, fairway semi-rough, you shunted the ball down to the front of the green in a good place and chipped and two putted 18 times, you're playing to 18 handicap. If you can chip and putt on four of those 18, then you're playing off 14 handicap. And you haven't hit a fairway, you haven't hit a green. So remember, you're not a tournament pro, you're an amateur golfer, you've got a handicap, use the shots that you're given.